People are looking to see more testing for the holidays. Here's Fox 40's Karma Dickerson. Twas the day before Christmas, and as far as you look, people were gathered hoping for a negative test result. This was the line at St. John's Church, a community COVID-19 testing site in Sacramento County. At times, hundreds were waiting to be tested Friday morning, though just three minutes away. Another community testing site was not as busy, but did see a steady stream of people. We were already ready for, okay, we're probably gonna be getting a few more people than usual. Dr. Beatrice Teta of Teta Pediatric Health runs a COVID-19 testing site through the county at the Fruit Ridge Community Collaborative. She says prior to the emergence of the Omicron variant, they had mostly been seeing people getting tests required for attending events like basketball games. Now we're seeing more people saying, you know, I just wanna be okay because I just found out an event I went to last week someone tested positive. She thinks people are more familiar with the testing at St. John's, which is listed first on the county website. But those who chose TETA got not just a much shorter wait time and their choice of rapid and PCR testing, but also the option of a take-home test. For some people, if you said, my relative can't get out here today or they have an illness and we can't bring them out, the serial testing program is more or less to help make sure people can get tested appropriately and help them be able to be with others and not be ill. Dr. Tata recommended people incorporate that take-home test into their plan for gathering safely over the next few weeks. Usually, I would recommend that people would have a test before they attend the event, and then three or four days later, which today is Friday, that'd be about Monday or Tuesday, testing themselves again, and that's why those test kits have two um, tests in them. Also, we do have our community testing sites open on Mondays and Tuesdays, and having another test just to make sure that in case they were by chance exposed to someone, that at least with that second test, they'll know that they're okay. In Sacramento, Carmen Dickerson, Fox 40 News.